Hello everyone, in this uh, short lesson I would like to speak about the uh, terminal effect, that's how I call it. It's when you move very fast and things uh, get blur and you have those uh, traces of light um, and um, it has a kind of interesting effect um, so um, let me show how I made it so um, So um, the effect itself, it's not very complicated, but the interesting thing is that you can uh, build on uh, top of that and you may get um, kind of a complexity uh, grows and some interesting uh, patterns uh, in your uh, final animation. Um, so I start with the with this point with the, with the line and um, uh, here I have um, um, the five points and I'm using uh, the first one to transform I made a basic animation uh, which uh, turns uh, the tunnel effect then I resample with the smooth, so I have a nice curve, and then I use the, the custom tool that I built, uh, which you can download on my um, Boosty page, um, which allows me to use uh, the, the gradients uh, to. Uh, to affect a certain attributes uh, so now I created a gradient um, which gives me like um, the bright in the middle and uh, dark on the ends this way I will affect my p scale attribute um, and create the feeling as if uh, something goes far away so you, you don't have to uh, go that far you can use the, the P scale to create the effect um, so here first I use uh, a circle which I clip and I use um, another custom tool the uh, line effects so which uh, uh, allows me to scatter points on uh, on the on the circle, um, and if I just have a look, and also those points are being uh, uh, animated. Yeah, and then I have uh, um, the custom attribute. Um, to have an opportunity to connect to, to connect those points using that attribute. So here are the lines, and which give, gives me that movement uh, of the points, um, and it has a nice illusion of uh, um, an environment change. Um, Okay, uh, next I add a little smooth and um, I use um, the line effects tool one more time to now to add uh, 
gradient animation to my lines with uh, uh, random values. So uh, when I have, um, if, if uh, there's no random, they, they just move equally, which also uh, may be uh, maybe useful I mean, in, in certain cases but uh, I decided to use a, a random value this way kind of a gives me that um, um, light movement uh, different different yeah so um, what I did next I uh, I added uh, also using this curve I added um, points as if uh, it's a uh, uh, overall uh, kind of illusion of rails that we are um, kind of uh, sitting on um, so um, I also uh, connect those by uh, having a custom attribute one uh, zero and one um, accordingly um, those two points that I have and uh, which uh, allows me to connect them accordingly to uh, the attribute uh, that was assigned then I uh, um, copy um, another uh, set of points onto uh, the line um, I can also add that um, custom attribute then I uh, split those part and connect them this way I have um, uh, kind of a Rails representation. Okay, I reset, smooth, and use also uh, line fix tool to add a gradient so I have kind of a movement. Okay, um, the same, uh, the same procedure I use to add some uh, more details. As I said, we can build on top and uh, have uh, interesting patterns in your animation um, also uh, what I did I add some uh, points uh, um, to have a sort of a star field uh, so uh, I also copied uh, my circle. I clipped it in a certain part, so I have the same circle. I added points, which has uh, zero movement, which is strange. I could just add some. Um, Well, actually, no. Uh, the thing is, uh, if um, if uh, I have uh, moving splines, if I add movement to, uh, and I have the moving moving splines, um, I had a problem with uh, points uh, running on 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 top of the slide. So I decided just to uh, zero the speed. And then uh, uh, I have um, points uh, moving without any problems. Okay, uh, here's uh, additional effect. So 
I kind of have uh, uh, the main lines and then I add some secondary lines that move um, on top of uh, the main lines and here I uh, just uh, experimented uh, and I wanted to kind of uh, uh, use not the uh, flow lines but uh, the circular uh, type uh, how it would kind of uh, look uh, with a mix of the flow lines uh, here there's also well so you see uh, using um, like a few setups uh, with a um, the tool I can get it to a certain point and uh, I can build on top of that so it kind of get uh, a more interesting uh, if needed uh, but as the uh, idea idea of uh, not building a complex uh, um, and large areas just to have a, that kind of illusion um, you you can see that has like a, a small area and a few tools um, animation uh, a few keyframes just to build the illusion of, uh, uh, of running uh, inside of a tunnel. Well this is the final result and uh, I hope you liked the tutorial and information was useful as usual and I hope to see you in a future project. Uh, thank you and goodbye.